today we're going to film Max's makeover, which I said I was going to film ages ago and then just haven't got around to it because it's quite a big task. I just had something to eat, so we've just been building a fence down the road. Um, so the plan is he needs a full clip, legs and everything, only half a face because he wouldn't like his whole face being taken off. He needs a main pool urgently and a bath. Hopefully it's going to stay warm enough to bath. If not, I can always do that another day and add that in. So I'm just getting my clippers out. So I've always had Heineken. These ones are actually new. So my other ones that we got years ago when I started, they were like over 10 years old. I think dad has managed to fix them now, um, or sent them off to be fixed. But we urgently need another pair and it's quite good to have two. So can't remember this model I'll find that out so first of all is I'm going to put blades on so I always take off the blades at the end of clipping clean all of the inside of the clippers clean the blades and disinfect them so I always disinfect just in case even though I'm only clipping I only clip my horses here at the yard but just in case they do have something we don't want it passing on so we need this tool If you get new clippers and you're not sure, it always comes with an instruction manual or probably just a YouTube video of how to put the blades on because all clippers are different. These clippers are heavy duty ones so they're designed to do numerous horses because we have over 10 horses to do per year in the winter and then we also clip quite a few still during the summer so other models of clippers are not as expensive um, and maybe a quieter than these aren't as heavy but they're not designed they won't last if you do too many horses so the blades are on the tension i haven't changed so that's fine that can stay then i've got my oil always use oil you want to oil up loads all of the time that'll keep your blades from blunting so the other clippers we use are the liveryman harmonies so these are smaller so i use these mostly to do the horses faces and legs if they're a bit sensitive because uh, they're just a lot quieter i think they don't vibrate as much and they're actually easier to get in all the little um bits up their legs max is he's fine to clip uh he doesn't really like his legs being do done i could do his face with the big clippers but it's just more of a hassle, so I use these. So these are actually Lauren's. Since she came and I started using them, they are amazing. Uh, because with Max, we either had to try and twitch him to do them with the big clippers, his legs, or just leave them. And it was just a hassle. Whereas I can actually do his whole leg with these, and he is fine. I definitely recommend these. And if you have a cob that you need to keep on top of the legs, so you don't always have to get the big clippers out, these are really good. So here is Max. Eating your hay. So... Well, his mane's not even sitting over the right side at the minute. Uh, he doesn't look too fluffy, actually, on his body, but his legs. He does actually grow feather, so we want all of that off, don't we, Max? And that mane is very long, isn't it? You need a right tidy up. So the legs are the main thing in the mane pool, and he's just like his the hair on his chest is quite long. So I'd already turned the clippers on just before I start the camera because I was standing up just to make sure he's fine with it. So I'm going to start him with his legs because that's the bit he really doesn't like hugely. So if I do those bits first before he gets fed up and then do his face and then his body shouldn't take me that long. So I basically turned them on first and made sure he's happy with the sound and then pressed them up against him before I start. So with Max, because he doesn't like his legs being done hugely, I actually don't put the clipper that close in his skin. So we're sort of a tiny bit further away, so I don't get quite as nice a cut. Next. I'm not quite finished his 
legs, he's in a bit of a mood. This one is, is a bit annoying actually to clip. Some days, absolutely fine, no problem with her, his legs. And then other days he just goes, no thank you. Doesn't really do anything, he just keeps lifting it up. So I sort of do as much as I can and then leave it and tidy it up another day because it's just a battle I can't really be bothered for. And he's not going anywhere, so it's not the end of the world. So I'll do his face, probably his body, and then I'll go back and try and do his legs. He's not the best at this either. Oh, I'm going to show everyone up now, Max. I'm going to say you are. See, just a tiny bit bargy, my lot of ponies are. That's his sort of nature. He just wants to kind of, he doesn't do anything nasty, and he's not actually scared of it. He just isn't a massive fan, I think, of the feel. And his friend's just gone out hacking and he thinks he should be out on a ride instead of being clipped. However, he gets very um, sweaty, so he's a very hot horse. So that's why, well, as much as I want him, I want his legs clipped, but the work, reason his body we're clipping is, yeah, he just gets very, very sweaty. Good boy. And the clippers have died, so I need to go and be put on charge, which is quite inconvenient. I thought they were going to do that, so I'll just put them on charge and I'll do his body and then go back to his legs and his face. So now I'm going to do his body with these clippers. Lots of oil and you want to oil all the time. Okay, so it's the next day now uh, and I did clip Vax fully yesterday. I didn't video me pulling his mane, or I didn't pull his mane because he was a bit fed up so I thought I'd leave it till today. So he's got his hay to keep him happy and we're going to give it a start. So I'm going to use a solo comb. There's lots of different ways you can do it. This is why I do it, especially when you've got something that doesn't hugely like it because you're then not actually pulling the mane, you're just cutting it cutting it with the still a pulled effect i know some people just cut the manes that's personal preference i don't really do it i also on ponies the manes are really thick so if you had something like tiny's got a thinner mane then i actually haven't done that yet i probably will do something like that but i want to actually get some thickness out because that's really difficult to plait otherwise so with the solo comb i think i have done a tutorial on this but you basically just get pinch the longest bits, back comb, and then cut, and it cuts the hair out. Mane is completed. Hey Max, just needs to do your forelock now. Just going to trim his tail. So how short you want is completely personal preference. I mean, some people have it like to just below the hock. It's always better to take less off because you can always take more off. I normally go to about here, but you also have to take into consideration a lot of the time they hold their tail up a bit. So a good test is, you need someone to help you, is you put your arm under and then you go to there. And then you just want to cut it in a straight line. If their tail's thin enough, you can do it all at one go, which is better. I should have got Lauren's mum to do this in a minute. She's a hairdresser. She does sometimes cut the horse's tails for us, doesn't she? His is very difficult because it's very thick. So to get it all properly, nicely, one length. But I'll do this and I'll meet now. Passing it off, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> so that was your mum then. I was going to say, Lindsay, you need to help me here a bit.
So we're on the third day of your makeover, aren't we, Max? So the next stage is a bath. It's very nice and warm, which is why I waited to do it today. So let's crack on. on his hoop. And he's all done, aren't you, Max? How much better does he look? Yeah, looking a lot better, aren't you? I'm going to bring the horses in, let him dry, and then we'll take a couple of pictures and see what he's like once he's dried. So Max has had his full makeover. He's now, currently we're just crouched down a bit, he's now having his dinner. So he's had his clip, main pool, tail cut and a wash. He's looking very smart and he's now gone back out in the field. So he's probably gonna roll, but he looked smart, didn't you mate? So we're just gonna let him have his dinner in peace and I'm gonna go and finish the yard. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Uh, if you do, please give it a like a share subscribe i would really appreciate it it really helps me out and if you want to see more of these hello uh then let us know because we can definitely do more of them especially after this lockdown we've kind of let them all go a bit feral so they can all do with a bit of a tidy up so yeah i hope you've enjoyed it and i'll see you for the next one